how big was his performance? What did you think of him? Seven for Goose. Yeah, well, he had a great performance, you know, first uh, header from the corner. From Club America, he had a great save, and I think he made some uh, more saves. And uh, yeah, looked very, uh, really comfortable in the goal, and uh, I'm very proud of him. And you know, <clears throat> he was a little bit unfortunately with the US Open Cup that he got sick, and then he didn't play for a long time, and then he wanted to play, and then the, the game was cancelled with the USL. So it was a little bit unfortunately for him. So that's why Brett, of course, uh, played the US Open Cup and. Yeah, we want the whole, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, to give that then at that moment to to Brad, and so I had to yeah make a difficult choice because you know we I always say you know we do it with uh, not with eleven men we're gonna do it with the whole roster you know and he, he's a fantastic guy he's a fantastic goalkeeper. And he's trained very hard, and I think he deserved it to play, you know, this kind of uh, this game. And uh, he didn't disappoint me, so I'm very uh, happy for him. Eh, Alfredo Suárez, el mundo hispánico. Fran, felicidades. Eh, tu opinión acerca del partido y si así fue como te lo imaginas. Sí, porque hemos analizado Club América muy bien y <coughs> yo creo que fue un partido de hombres. Era muy intenso. Uh, mucho drámica y, y todo era en este partido y ok, podemos empatar este partido pero yo creo eh, hemos recibido dos penaltis y también hemos creado uh, tanto ocasiones ellos también pero al final eh, quizás eh, hemos merecido un poquito más Uh, Frank, uh, I think a lot of fans were wondering whether this was going to play out more like a friendly or a final. From from your perspective, what was the intensity like of the game? Now, just of what I just said, you know, this was a men's game, and uh, you want to have this kind of games almost every week, and uh, because you saw already the quality of those uh, players from Club America, and and we competed very well uh, with them. We had a little, little bit in the beginning, a little bit of difficulty because uh, Martinez played more as, you know, really as a striker. So uh, we were really focusing uh, with Jeff uh, on him. And then after 50 minutes, we said he has to really follow him or, you know, or change with uh, Martin when he uh, drops in and uh, let Leo, Leandro, you know, deal with, uh, with, uh, with him, with Martinez or Martin. And, then we had more control, and it was all about you know winning duels, you know, and you saw uh, the world. I think I didn't saw the stats, but there were a lot of free kicks uh, today because it was every time it was one against one, and you know if you lose it, you know you have this disadvantage, you, you have one man short, and so yeah, I think you know I was I'm very uh, I'm very proud what they showed today because it was a difficult game. But yeah, if you see where where we were in the beginning and where we are right now, then we can say we made a major step forward, and uh, it's good for uh, MLS football, it's especially good for Atlanta United, of course, that we can compete against these kind of teams. And uh, but yeah, the game was I think fantastic to watch, you know, because it was up and down. <coughs> uh, Frank. Knowing about the uh, outcome and the importance of the third goal, uh, what do you, what is running through your mind about Martinez as he was able to take a second chance in the middle of a game and knowing what the stakes were? Yeah, but he already did it uh, <laughs> the last time, and then he scored also. And uh, I'm not worried about it. You know, he's so eager to score goals, and uh, I know he's a fantastic uh, penalty taker. And uh, unfortunately, he missed now too. But you know. Uh, you get lucky that he could uh, every time he can uh, take a revenge, and uh, but uh, I always uh, will let him take him because yeah, or he had to uh, constantly miss uh, penalties. But I know that normally he's uh, he's very solid in taking penalties. So I was I wasn't uh, nervous for the second one because I, I almost knew for 100% that he would score.
Frank, I think a lot of the fans were a little bit um, confused with the first half substitution between Robinson coming in yeah. for Escobar. Is there, how was the side of Escobar? Was no, it? if, if everybody understands a bit of soccer, you know, they understand that if I'm going to change, like technically, I will do that in half time, you know, and not one minute or, you know, uh, two minutes before the end. So he had, uh, he had felt something in his hamstring. So, uh, we have to uh, take him out, and that was the reason, you know. So, uh, and there was no other, yeah, other reason. Coach, you've moved to this five-man back line over the last few weeks. It felt like today Pereira was playing a little bit higher than Miriam has. Was this a more aggressive way to put this out, or was it a completely different? Formation? No, because of the opponent. What I said, you know, they uh, Clip America has a little bit the same philosophy uh, like us. They play a different system, but the philosophy is. is is almost the same. They want to press forward, uh, and they play one against one, and so he has to be every time, you know, on, on that fullback at time. Because uh, if he could, you know, turn and we were in the back one against one, yeah, for them it's very easy to play an easy pass, a comfortable pass. So for me, uh, that was uh, our plan, and I think he did really, really well. ¿Qué tan importante es para la MLS ganar ese tipo de torneos, quitarle trofeos a, a Liga MX y qué hay que hacer para continuar por este camino? No, yo creo que es muy importante porque eh, tre, queremos competir contra la Liga MX y sabemos que ellos, ok, con la historia todavía son mejores que MLS, pero tenemos que... Uh, estar más cerca y yo creo que eh, uh, hoy hemos uh, demostrado que estamos más cerca y todavía tenemos que uh, poner mucha energía cada día, cada año para estar uh, más cerca, pero ese es el primer paso, es, yo creo que está bien para, para MLS y también uh, más importante para mí, para el United. Frank, I know that you put a statement out earlier today. Uh, I just have to ask, do you feel like your comments in The Guardian were taken out of context? Well, especially the word ridiculous, you know, it's uh, a little bit very hard, you know, if you read it, of course. So uh, I can understand that people <coughs> uh, feel a little bit, uh, how do you call it? Um, how do you say that? Uh, yeah, that, that is a hard word, and that, that if I read it, then you know that word only. If you see the whole contents, then you. Know, I think uh, I was very clear that I, you know, always promote uh, women's soccer. I, w I think I was one of the first when Ajax had the discussion uh, when I was trainer with Ajax, coach with Ajax. If we do have to take a, a women's team and uh, look where they are right now, and so. I will always promote it, and uh, I said only about uh, one thing. I think, uh, and I think, if they deserve it, they have to earn. If they are, you know, more popular than men, they have to earn more than uh, than men. But that's how it is. And you know, again, you know, the word ridiculous. That I think was a little bit hard, and uh, so I already uh, said it in my statement. And uh, you know, I hopefully, you know, it's getting popular and popular because I will always support not only women who do uh, soccer, but, you know, doing a sport because it's very good for, you know, mentally healthy and everything. And uh, and also, yeah, team sports are fantastic. So uh, hopefully we're going to see a lot of uh, women doing sport and especially, of course, soccer, because uh, I love soccer. Well, two-part, just a little bit of a follow-up. That we worried at all about this being a distraction to your team. Um, no. You know that that whole issue. You know, right on the verge of the game. No, no. I didn't uh, hear anybody <laughs> here talking about it. And, uh, no. One more, and you talked about the importance of you know MLS wanting to kind of start do, performing better against Liga MX. I mean, how big a step is this? It's just one game, and yeah, but there are the two changes against each other. So. Uh, club America was the best club of Mexico last season. We were the best club of uh, MLS uh, last season. So yeah, then you know you're gonna have, uh, face a very tough opponent, and so then it's good that we see, hey, uh, we're getting closer, and uh, so if we have a good day, 
and uh, and they have a good day, but uh, especially when we have a good day and and we have a big and I think that's also a compliment, you know, for Atlanta United, Carlos Boca Negra, you know, and their own years. You know, if you see, I made five changes today compared to the last game. And that was also because I have to think also about Portland. And if you see, uh, you know, how we did uh, today, then you can see, okay, yeah, we made major steps forward, not only we as Atlanta, but also uh, as a club from the uh, United States. Last two questions, first one here is Frank. Buenas noches, son Conexión Deportiva. Acaba de decir la, la respuesta en inglés a lo que iba a ser mi pregunta. Con respecto a esa formación, nos preguntamos antes del partido por qué tantos jugadores eh, distintos en esta formación y si no era arriesgar un poco la victoria quizás en, este, en esta oportunidad, aunque obviamente se ganó. Sí, pero solo hemos tenido dos días de descanso. Y, y después tenemos que viajar a Portland en un vuelo de cuatro horas más o menos y so, ya, yo tengo que también cuidar eh, el físico de mis jugadores y, y yo tengo mucha confianza y no solo en los primeros once pero en, en todos los jugadores y yo puedo dar la riesgo y por ejemplo eh, Justin por ejemplo pero él tenía en Orlando, después de 60 minutos, uh, cramp en su, uh, en su gemelo. So, en este momento yo tené, tengo un cambio, y, y puede pasar también hoy, porque es un partido, yo sabía, muy intenso. So, para esta razón yo, yo quiero dar mi, uh, yeah, más opciones para cambiar cuando es ne necesito. Y, y por ejemplo, Barco, yeah, yo sé que él quiere jugar, es normal pero él viene desde una lesión y después, yo creo hoy, porque es solo dos días de descanso y en un partido intenso así, yo puedo arriesgar, arriesgar que él está lesionado otra vez. Y, y hemos hablado de esto con él y, ok, él uh, sabía, pero ok, no es contento porque quiere ganar títulos, quiere tener influencia en, en tu club, pero es así. Ganamos títulos no con 11 jugadores, ganamos títulos con todo el equipo. Y hoy hemos demostrado que es así. Y próxima vez serán otros jugadores, y, y Brett, por ejemplo, y o también él. También eh, primero estaba un poquito enfadado, pero ya, yo tenía mil razones. Y explicar a todos los jugadores, ok, Matt Rosa ha jugado tantos partidos, pero, por ejemplo, um, Franco y, y Leo están muy cerca para, tener, para estar suspendido con su tarjeta. Y yo quiero también, cuando Flo tiene que entrar, que tiene ritmo y no después de 60 minutos está muerto. Y ahora, ok, eh, él ha demostrado, ok, so, so yo puedo elegir eh, más fácil ahora, ok, en este momento yo puedo jugar con este jugador y yo creo que es muy, muy importante porque todavía la liga está muy larga y cada tres, cuatro días tenemos partido y otra vez necesitamos uh, todos los jugadores y yo creo que están uh, interviniendo eso.